Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option and completely look at the 2018 Hyundai Sonata. There's a lot of trim levels to go through, so we're going to do all that in real detail. We're going to build them all out. We're going to save all the PDFs. I'm going to put the links to all the PDFs, to all the builds in the description below, like I do for all of them when I can, when, meaning when they make it available to me to download. Uh, but real quick before I jump into this, a couple of things, couple of things. Um, one, if you find this uh, video helpful or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. It would be a great way to pay it forward. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, secondly, as you can probably tell from the title, this video is part, this car, this build is part of a playlist of five cars that would make good Uber or Lyft vehicles. Okay, now or just a good vehicle in general, but specifically five cars that you could use for Uber or Lyft. This is one of the five, so I'm going to put a link up to the playlist. So you can look at the other four vehicles, okay? So you can check out the other four vehicles. All right, so let's go through this whole thing. So we're going to go down this page. We're going to learn everything there is to learn about the Hondas or the Hyundai Sonata. And then we're going to go out and build and price out all of these. And I'm going to put all the links in the description below, all right? So <clears throat> first one is the SE. It starts at just under $20,000. And it looks like it comes in several colors. comes in the white, uh, silver. You got a gray, a blue, two shades of blue. Uh, you got a scarlet red. You got the black. And then what? We've got a Hope on Wheels. Can you really do that color? Is that really possible? And then you've got four, three interior, interior colors. You got a beige cloth. It's a good looking place in there, too. And then you got a gray cloth. And then you have a black cloth. Nice. I like it. Uh, on the eco mode. Right, that starts at twenty thousand. Looks like the same color options, right? But let's go to the outside because what I noticed was on the on some of these the body style changes. So on the eco, right, you've got the same options here. On the SEL, notice how the body changed. See how the wheels changed and the skirting changed a little bit. Watch. I'm gonna go back to the eco. See how it changed? The light changes and the wheels change. So the SEL gets a different package. All right, then you got the sport. I bet that's going to change too. Yep. Then the sport gets a different package. Then you got a limited. It's got a different look. Then you got the sport with the two liter. It's got a different look, and the options change. And then the limited two liter. Right? Looks like the lights change. It's got a better set of lights on it. So we're going to learn about all those. So let's get into them. So we can expand, compare the seven Sonata models. Let's expand on those then. So what was the base? The base is the SE, all right? So the base model uh, gets 25 city, 36 highway, 29 combined. It's got a 185 horsepower engine. It's got a blind spot detection with RCTA and LCA. Hopefully we'll learn those acronyms as we go along. Uh, oh, we can click this. If we click it, does it give us more information? No, all right. It's got a 7-inch color display with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto rear view camera. That's standard. I can tell you there's a other there are other cars that make up this tr this this grouping of 5 that do not have Apple CarPlay standard that do not give you more than one choice of interior color as for your base model. So the Honda is already starting off real good. It's got the class leading interior uh, space volume uh, the Eco. Uh, it gets a 178 horsepower motor. It includes the SE features plus the blind spot detection, uh, seven-speed eco shift dual clutch transmission, uh, the seven-inch display. Uh, the SEL gets all of that. It's got the 185 horsepower motor. It gets uh, the power driver's seat with the lumbar. It's got the proximity key entry with push button start, and it gets heated front seats. The Sport, same engine. See power tilt slide, Sport grill front fascia, rear diffuser. Sport seats, leather, uh, leather D-cut steering wheel. They should say flat bottom steering wheel and sport shift knob. And then on the limited, what's this? Let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and then on the limited, still get that 185 horsepower motor. It's got leather seating, heated and ventilated front seats, power front seats with integrated memory, LED headlights with dynamic bending light. And then if you go all the way to the two lead, okay, we got a couple more. Then you got the sport two liter and that includes all of this stuff right then it's got the 18 inch wheel sport tuned suspension 
and the power tilt slide sunroof and then you got the limited two liter has all of that plus the automatic emergency braking with lane keep assist god it's only 30 grand smart cruise control and an eight inch touch screen right it's a lot of stuff uh take it for a test drive let's look at the exterior tour new visual energy so let's start with the um with the two liter the limited two liter right do we need to go look at all of them let's do the 360 spin and just see what that looks like really quick i don't know if i'm going to go through that for all the models of course hang on a second okay so let's see if this was worth waiting for all that dragging around no not really not really it's not that big of a deal that was a lot of work for that it was a lot of work for that guys okay so we've already looked at the exterior them showing us this is just um redundant really uh, undeniable style, the new cascading front grille, right? We can see that the cascading front grille, um, what is safety that goes all the way, popular advanced safety features like blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, that's it, RCTA are now standard on every Sonata. Interior, now I wouldn't mind taking a look at the interior, getting a better look at the interior. Let's just launch the spin because I do want to get a look at that interior because it is nice looking. I don't know if I like this hexagonal, whatever, that chrome look. I'm not really feeling that, but the rest of it is nice. The rest of it is nice. It's a nice It's a nice cabin. It's a nice cabin. I like the nice big uh, dials and everything, a nice big uh, uh, clock and features and the words and the letters. Everything looks good. Design that feels as good as it looks. A restyle center stack and a new three-spoke D steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, available in leather seating surfaces uh, yeah features and specs let's check out features and specs so standard blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert right drive with greater awareness right vehicles around you when they're moving around you'll know about it standard seven inch color display audio with Apple CarPlay Android Auto and reverse camera okay that's standard that's a lot that's standard class leading interior space right you and your passengers can stretch out. Yeah, looks good. I like it. Um, 185 horsepower standard with available 245 horsepower turbocharged motor. That's the, that's the big dog. That's the one I like. Acceleration and responsiveness are balanced with smooth, fuel-efficient power delivery. And then tell us about the interior. Available heated and ventilated front seats. Yeah, we know about that. See full specs. We'll check that out in a second. Uh, great features. Let's build our perfect Sonata. Let's take a look at this great features. Is there anything over here that we need to take a look at that we don't already know about? Um, are they going to be just saying more redundant stuff? It was a top safety pick this year. Um, there's so far it's redundant, right? Class leading leg room and stuff. Two climates for you, one for you, one for your passenger. So dual zone climate control. That's available heated steering wheel with dual zone climate control. That's not standard. Uh, right. Then it's got the, you know, the heated and ventilated seats, the integrated memory for your seats, uh, sense of calm, uh, Apple CarPlay, power up. So what do they have? Wireless phone charging. Yeah. Just set your, just set your Q standard phone or tablet on the center console pad to recharge, uh, front and second row USB charging, uh, custom, uh, blue link complimentary. So you've got what? Control Sonata from your favorite devices or simply your voice. Very fun. Cool. Remote lock and unlock. Monthly vehicle health report. Destination search powered by Google. Um, exterior styling. It's nice looking. It really is. And then they're talking about their more safety tech, right? That's standard on the car. America's best warranty. Five years, 60. Ten year, 100,000. That's on the new vehicle limited warranty. The powertrain's 10-year, 100,000. Roadside's five-year unlimited mile. Good deal. Uh, automatic emergency braking. Uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls. Beautiful lights. The LED headlights with dynamic bending lights. So they kind of turn around the corner. Uh, yep, and that's more about that Hyundai Hope on Wheels deal. Uh, I think that's the current commercials that are running. Uh, let's go build. I think we're ready for the build. Oh, let's go look at features and specs real quick. Because what I want to look at really, really fast, because I think this is really cool, um, is we can see all the available options, all the packages that are available for the SE. That's the base model. 
there are no packages. The Eco, no packages. The SEL, you can get a tech package, okay, uh, for a thousand dollars, and here's what's included. Uh, for the Sport, which is the twenty-two thousand, it's got no packages. The Limited comes with this Ultimate package, which comes with ooh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. If you want to read it all, you could just pause it to get it all in. A lot of stuff, like a really great sound system and everything. Uh, the Sport 2 liter, but those must come loaded. That's why they don't have a lot of stuff with them. Now, what I want to find out before we get out of here is I want to just look at um, what I want to look at was mechanical. Because what I wanted to look at was, yeah, I wanted to get the data on these engines. right? It makes 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. That's way up there. Then it makes 178 pound-feet of torque, which is nothing to write home about, let me tell you. But it makes it way up there at 4,000 RPM, right? So you got to really put your foot in this bad boy. Uh, now, the Eco's got a turbo. Now, the turbos are nice. See, turbochargers are nice because they make their torque low. They make it low, basically right off of idle, all the way up to 4,500 RPMs. That's a good deal. Same thing with these. I would I would choose either the Eco or one of these Sport variants, or the two, one of these 2-liter variants. I take the Eco or one of these two liters. So that's what we want to look at. Now let's go jump into the build. I just want to check that out. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so there are seven trim levels on this bad boy. All right, so this is the Sonata SE. It starts at 22,050, right? Now here's what's on this thing, the blind spot detection. Like I said, I might not read it all, so all you really need to do is pause this if you want to make sure that you catch all this stuff. These are the standard options that come on the SE for what? The $22,000.50. Let's go to continue. All right, let me put in my... Okay, got that handled. So, we got some color options here. We got... Uh, let's stick with the light colors. Unless you're one that you're going to really take care of the outside of your car so it doesn't show those swirl marks. Let's let's just stick with the quart, uh, the quartz white. Because really for this build, seeing that we're going through all the cars, the outside, the exterior color is just really not that important. Uh, for the interior, I like dark interiors. They're easier to keep clean, and they just look better. Uh, continue. No packages for this car. We know that. Uh, accessories. Here's the deal with accessories. You could pick this stuff up at the dealer at any time. But I do like the mud guards because it protects the bottom of the car. And I do like the wheel locks because it's a cheap security for your wheels. Um, what else do I like in here? Carpeted floor mats, if it doesn't come with it, doesn't sound like it does. And illuminated door sills, that's nice. Uh, interior lighting kit, also nice. Right? What's the cargo package? Cargo tray, cargo net, cargo trunk hook. Right? We don't need that. All right, so here's where we're at. It's a pretty cheap car. We're at 23730 Right? Here's, here's the breakdown. Uh... No cost color options, right? The packages, there weren't any. We added some money in, uh, in accessories. We're out the door. We're out the door. What do they have? 23730 Can we save this build? Hang on one second. Can we save it? Yes, we can. I'm going to save it real quick. And we'll move on and look at the other one. So this is the SE. Okay, we got the SE saved. Let's go back to trim, right? So now... For a, just a little bit more, so really just another $600, you can get into the Eco. The Eco adds or substitutes that engine, right, with a better torque curve. It's got the blind spot detection, the 7 speed, the 7 inch touch screen, the car play, and all that. It's got the skinny little 16 inch wheels, though. Remote keyless entry. It's got iPod, AM, FM, integrated Bluetooth. It's got good stuff, though. Good stuff for just a little bit of money. Let's hit continue. Right, we're going to stick with that color. I like the dark interior. No matter what color you go with, man, I like the dark interior because you just got to stay on top of that. Now, see, now the whole thing is, it's all these other builds. I usually, sometimes I try not to get into the accessories because it's really if you like that stuff or not. But if you value what I'm saying, I think we should go with the wheel locks and the mud guards and the carpeted floor mats and the illuminated door sills and the interior light package that just gives us 24,330 out the door on this bad boy let's print it okay got that one let's go on to the next one that was the eco we just did now the SEL 
is going to add or substitute what? Now you get power driver's seat with lumbar support. Now this car is just 23.7. They're only going up incrementally. Uh, it's got a power key, push button start, LED daytime running lights. It's got a rear USB this time. Hands-free smart trunk, leatherette interior, leather wrap steering wheel. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll stick with our colors. We know the deal. What we have for packages here. You get the tech package. Let's see the, tech, the deal on this. This gives you all your uh, safety feature stuff. You want that. We want to get that. Let's add it for $1,000. Um, wheel locks, mud guards, carpeted floor mats, illuminated door sills, interior light kit. Okay, that's where we're at on this car. Twenty-six thousand three eighty for what trim is this? This is the SEL trim, right? That's the SEL trim. Let's print this. Move on to the next one. Okay, so that was SEL. That was twenty-six thousand three eighty. Let's get an interior shot real quick. It's a nice interior, isn't it? Um, the Sport, the Sport gives us power tilt slide sunroof, Sport grill, front fascia, and a rear diffuser, Sport seats with leather, flat bottom steering wheel with a Sport shift knob, glossy trim, Sport dark chrome rocker panels, that's down here by the way, that's a rocker panel, dual exhaust, Sport instrument cluster, Sport seats, leather bolsters, cloth inserts, LED interior lights, black headliner. It's a good one. It's a good one for 25.2. I don't think any packages are available. Uh, it only comes with black interior. Okay, cool. That works for me because that's my favorite. Standard for sport, right? Uh, what are the details on that? It's just got the sport trim. They don't go into it. Okay, no problem. Um, accessories. We know the accessories. Wheel locks, mud guards, right? Uh, mats door sill plates and a better lighting kit for the thing we're out the door at 26880 i mean they're all basically the same price aren't they it's this is the sport this is the sport package copy sport package let's wrap this one and now move on to the next one all right the trim so now we've got the limited the same engine 2.4 right the same engine now we get leather seats now it's got power front seats with integrated memory led headlights with those bending light technology uh, ventilated front seats, metal door sill plates. Okay, it's already got door sill plates, so maybe we're not going to do that on this one. That was good to catch that. Dual zone automatic temperature control, right? Uh, auto up and down front passenger windows. It's 27400 bucks. That's it. Um, exterior colors. We'll stick with the white, you know. Uh, I do want the black interior. It's leather. It's leather interior for under 30 grand the ultimate package what does it give us it gives you everything in the kitchen sink it gives you all the tech it gives you the heated steering wheel it gives you rear side window shades Sirius XM 8 inch touch screen it gives you the premium Xfinity audio uh, smart cruise control yeah it's three grand but it gives you everything we're gonna take the wheel locks we're gonna take the mud guards we're gonna take uh, the carpeted floor mats Oh, that didn't have illuminated door sill plates. They were just regular ones. So we'll do the illuminated and the interior lights. That's a heck of a car for under thirty grand. Twenty nine thousand dollars. This was the limited. This was the limited. Copy. Let's put this one down too. Okay, two to go. Two to go. Go back to trim. So now we're at twenty seven thousand six hundred now for the sport with the two liter engine. The better engine. The better the best engine. Two forty five horse. Right, uh, automatic eight-speed automatic. It's got the 18-inch wheels, Michelin tires, sport tuned suspension, larger brakes in the front, sport grill. It's got the sunroof. It's got the sport seats, uh, the dark chrome rocker panels, dual exhaust, aluminum pedals, the tech pa uh, tech appearance package, LED interior lights. It's got it all. 27.6. It's a good deal, right? You can only get it with black interior. All right. Um, no options to get for this one. And so we'll take our standard stuff, the wheel locks, the mud guards, um, the illuminated door sills, and it already had the LED interior light, so we're going to skip that on this one. All right, we're out the door at 28905 on this one. This was the uh, the Sport with the 2-liter in it, all right? The Sport with the 2-liter. Let's save this one. Okay, one more to go. I think it was uh, the 2-liter Premier or Premium. Limited. Sonata Limited 2 liter. All right, what do we get now? 
up and above the other one. So this one takes quite a big jump, though. And this is the biggest jump out of all of them. Uh, it jumps all the way up to 32, from 27.6 to 32.450. All right, that's a big jump. Big jump. Almost five grand. So, but you're getting a lot. Automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist. It's giving you all the tech. Smart cruise, eight inch touchscreen, the big motor, uh, all the LED, the sport leather seating, uh, wireless charging. You name it, it's basically in there. $32,000. So far, I still have one more car to build in this group of five, just so you know where I'm at, right? For this whole, these five cars that make good Uber or Lyft vehicles. This one, this is the fourth one I'm doing. I got one more to go after this. And so far, so far at this price point, this is definitely the most affordable one so far. I don't know if the next one is going to be as affordable as this, but man, it sure is uh, a good price. Uh, 33335 Um Let's just go back. Uh, you saw that there was only one interior option color, and then you got all these colors. I'm sticking with the light color because, like I said, it's, it's not important to the build. The overall, the exterior color. Uh, there's no packages because it gave us everything. So we want the wheel locks, we want the mud guards, we want the mud, we want the carpeted floor mats, we want the sill plates, and we want the interior light kit. We're still under thirty-four thousand, thirty-five thousand dollars with this bad boy. It's a lot of car for the money. It's a lot of car for the money. All right, let me save this build. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit. and We're going to wrap it up. Okay, we did it. Honda Sonata, 2018, in the books. Good car. A lot of features, a lot of features, a lot of car for the money. You can get the top tier for under under $35,000. I guarantee you at the dealer, brand new right now, I bet you can find these things for under that price. Right in town, right now. Bet you, bet you. It's a lot of car for the money. You might as well. If you can afford it, get the top of the line. It's good. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you like this video, if you found this content helpful or entertaining or both, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It would be a great way to pay it forward if you found this information helpful to you. Okay? Have a wonderful day.